As one of the major therapeutic options for cancer treatment, chemotherapy using cytotoxic agents display limited selectivity against cancer cells, leading to a small therapeutic window, with potentially high toxicity, and therefore, limited efficacy at doses that are acceptable for patients. Antibody drug conjugates, or ADCs, are next-generation precision medicines that target specific surface antigens and fight diseases by delivering cytotoxic payload drugs into the antigen-bearing cells. ADCs are trending in immunotherapy and are believed to have high potential and wide applications in treating various types of cancer, fungal or bacterial infections, cardiovascular disorders, and immune diseases. Antibody drug conjugates consist of recombinant monoclonal antibodies that are covalently bound to cytotoxic chemicals via synthetic linkers. Monoclonal antibodies constitute the backbone of ADCs, and recognize antigens present in cancer cells. The antibody component specifically binds to the tumor antigen and participates in internalization and receptor-mediated endocytosis. The effectiveness of ADCs depends on the internalization of the ADC followed by the release of active cytotoxic molecules inside the cytoplasm of tumor cells. For tumors with insufficient expression of targeting antigens, the potency of the payload should be sufficient to the cancer cells, even at low doses. The majority of these payloads originate from natural product sources, and are categorized as microtubule inhibitors, DNA synthesis inhibitors, and topisomerase inhibitors. The linker has a key role in ADC outcomes because its characteristics substantially impact the therapeutic index, efficacy, and pharmacokinetics of the ADC. The stable linkers in ADCs can maintain the antibody concentration in the blood circulation and do not release the cytotoxic drug before reaching the target, resulting in minimum off-target effects. The linkers used in ADC development can be classified into cleavable and non-cleavable ones, and the cleavable linkers can be classified into three types hydrozone, disulfide, and peptide linkers. The origin of ADCs can be traced back over a century to the German physician and scientist Paul Ehrlich, who proposed the concept of selectively delivering a cytotoxic drug to a tumor via a targeting agent. First-generation ADCs typically used clinically approved drugs with well-established mechanisms of action, such as antimetabolites, DNA cross-linkers, and antimicrotubule agents. In addition to the immunogenicity issues observed with murine monoclonal antibodies, these early attempts were met with limited success for several reasons, including low drug potency, high antigen expression on normal cells, and instability of the linker that attached the drug to the monoclonal antibody. It took many years before the development of successful ADCs. Further advancements ultimately led to the first ADC, Myelotarg to gain U.S. Food and Drug Administration approval in 2000 for the treatment of acute myelogenous leukemia. Despite initially encouraging clinical results, Milotarg was withdrawn from the market a decade later owing to a lack of improvement in overall survival. Although hundreds of ADCs have been or are being clinically tested, only four of them finally gained the approval for marketing by U.S. Food and Drug Administration and or European Medicines Agency. Adcitrus is the second approved ADC, it gained the approval in 2011, 11 years after the first one being approved. And then, with the accumulation of technology, the development and approval progresses of ADCs are accelerated. ADCs have the well-described mechanism of action, namely binding of the antibody to the target antigen resulting in complex internalization through receptor-mediated endocytosis. Upon fusion of two internalized vesicles, an early endosome is formed whereby cargo is sent through two pathways, recycling which results in trafficking back to the plasma membrane, or endolysosomal degradation. The mechanism and location of toxin release depends on the type of linker. Non-cleavable linkers depend on degradation of the antibody with or without a portion of the linker to liberate the toxin from the ADC. However, cleavable linkers can release toxins through acidic conditions in the lysosome, reduction of the linker in the cytoplasm or cleavage by specific proteases. For ADCs containing cleavable linkers, the antibody part of the ADC is either degraded once the toxin is cleaved or is recycled and released outside the cell and vesicles. Once the toxin is cleaved from the ADC, it enters the cytoplasm and can either bind to its molecular target in the cytoplasm or can cross into the nucleus and cause cell cycle arrest and apoptosis by interfering with DNA. Almost all payloads in clinical development are small hydrophobic molecules, 
that are able to cross biomembranes once cleaved from the ADC. Therefore, nuclear DNA as well as the cytoskeleton in the cytoplasm are suitable locations for the payload to interfere with critical cellular mechanisms resulting in cell death. Creative Biolabs and our collaborators are equipped with state-of-the-art research and manufacturing facilities and our advanced technical platforms cover crucial stages in ADC development. Set out to the search for a chemically simple yet versatile linker, we encountered a unique coordination compound, this ethylene dimine platinum chloride a few years back. Now, after extensive exploration and experimentation, Creative Biolabs has established a platform and we are proud to announce our innovative PTLNX conjugation platform for ADC developments. Creative Biolabs provides a full range of products and services based on our three-dimensional cell culture platform. With the well-established static and fluidic 3D cell culture systems, our services include, but are not limited to, establishment and optimization of experimental protocols, a series of in vitro analysis and screening, as well as design custom in vitro 3D models. Facilitated by the advanced drug LNK Organic Synthesis Platform, Creative Biolabs offers a unique customized design and synthesis service to prepare branched linkers for ADCs. The resulted hydra linkers open a new avenue for the development of ADCs possessing a higher drug-to-antibody ratio. At the starting point of an ADC development project, we offer antibody screening services including the consultation and antigen selection, antigen-specific antibody screening, internalizing antibody selection, as well as proof-of-concept feasibility validation using anti-AB ADCs. A suitable payload drug will be selected and coupled with a linker with desired releasing mechanism and drug LNK to assemble the chemical warhead for an ADC, which is subsequently conjugated with the desired antibody using antibody design and conjugation services. Certain modification or engineering of the selected antibody is also carried out in this service module. After ADC assembly, its biochemical characteristics including purity, stability, drug-to-antibody ratio, and in vitro efficacy is adequately analyzed in ADC in vitro analysis, while the ADC's preclinical pharmacological parameters will be assayed in ADC in vivo analysis before clinical evaluation and applications. Lastly, Creative Biolabs is also an expert in the conjugation of various molecular probes to antibodies to form antibody-based probes, and we offer this service to facilitate the requirements for the exponentially developing fields such as high-resolution imagery and fast, accurate diagnostics. Creative Biolabs offers a variety of customized ADCs generated by different combinations of antibodies that target a large number of cancer surface antigens and payload drugs conjugated via various linkers. Those ADCs can be used for experiments such as concept proof, target validation, and service positive controls or provide comparison information and in new ADC developments. In the meantime, the antibody portion of those customized ADCs are also available, and they can be used as negative controls or serve other appropriate purposes. Another part of an ADC is comprised of a cytotoxic payload drug coupled with a molecular linker. Creative Biolab offers a large collection of chemically coupled drug linker complexes in our ADC products for the convenient conjugation to form an ADC using compatible chemistry. This series of products are designated for efficient ADC creation and they can greatly accelerate the progress of ADC developments. We also carry separately in our inventory various cytotoxic payload drugs and linkers that are compatible with versatile conjugation chemistry and flexible releasing mechanisms. The search for a suitable antibody for ADC development is a long and laborious process. Creative Biolabs is dedicated to ease the search process by providing clients our unique anti ab ADCs. These products recognize antibodies with high specificity and they are preloaded with toxins. Target antibody internalization can be validated through cell killing by the incorporated toxins, given the internalization occur, and the results can be used to facilitate antibody screening and selection. Creative Biolabs has also generated a series of antibodies, collectively anti-drug ABS, to facilitate the analysis and safety evaluation of the newly developed ADCs. These anti-drug ABS are raised against ADC toxins, such as May, DM1, DM4, Kalichi Machine, Duocarmycin, and so on. For over a decade, Creative Biolabs is dedicated to providing our customers with high-quality products and good services. 
Our experienced scientists will help you select the most suitable products for your ADC projects and promote the progress to build a healthier, better tomorrow.